What's up guys, this is Fabio here. Yes, I finally got my new iPhone 11 Pro Max and I thought it might be interesting to make an unboxing video, so here I am recording for YouTube. I'm also planning to publish a full review of the phone, so if you haven't yet, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on. So let's unbox it! As you can see, I got an iPhone 11 Pro Max. This is a 64 gigabyte space gray. And the cool thing about this year package is that the logo you get on the side, both iPhone and the little Apple here, is the same color of the phone inside. So this is a space gray and the logos are space gray. So let's try to remove the film now. So yes, this is the phone, let's open it. The first thing we actually see is that the phone is now facing down. There are three cameras now, uh, this is a, matte, a new matte finish. And uh, yeah, let's see the front of the phone. Wow, it's actually pretty nice. It's really really nice the camera i was thinking way worse to be honest from uh from the renders that were online but the phone is actually pretty cool it's wow it's really nice so let's have a look at the phone and let's remove the front film pretty cool so this is the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let's see what's, what is in the box. So I'm just gonna move the phone here. And yes, there is the package here, um, classic um, manuals, I would say. Let's move it here, maybe on the side. Still the Apple logo. I wish they could have been space gray but they are not they are still white whatever i'm not gonna use them um and uh, yeah the little thing to open the seam and these are some manuals i never read them and uh, yes yeah, still the headphones with lightning um with the lightning pretty cool I got the Power Beats Pro, so I will probably not use them. And uh, another cool thing about this year is that we got finally a fast charger. So this is a 18 watt fast charger and uh, Apple promised basically it's gonna be pretty fast. I'm gonna check it out during the review time. So this is the new plug for UK. As you can see, oh wow, it's automatic. And yes, the cool thing is that now it is a USB-C port. I wish they could have included the USB-C port also on the iPhone, but yeah, Apple. <laughs> so this is the charger, cool. Let me just put this back. And the other difference is now the cable. The cable is a lightning um, USB-C now. So that's the cable, as you can see. And this is the lightning. Cool, pretty standard cable, nothing special. But to be honest, I'm really, really in love with the new finish and the camera, as you can see, guys. Last year I got uh, an iPhone XS, uh, it was gold version, so this year I went for a space gray. I just want to go back to the dark. So hopefully I'm going to spend a little bit of time, uh, possibly a week, with this guy and um, 
I'm gonna review it. I'm gonna publish a, a personal review of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. There are just a few things I am super happy about. Finally, we got the wide angle camera, finally. Um, this is a feature I was waiting since a long time. And the cool thing that actually I'm super excited about is the really long battery. Apple claims that this is gonna last five hours more compared to the 10s Max of last year. So I'm super excited to test that. Uh, for me, battery is one of the major features in a phone. I'm not sure why, but today's phones don't last more than a day uh, nowadays. So I'm going to test it out and uh, let you know, guys. And uh, yeah, let's switch it on. I finished the setup here finally. And uh, yes, I should be honest, compared to the last iPhone, the XS, there is no major difference on the front glass. It's actually identical. The top notch is still there. The same set of icons are still there. So nothing drastically different. The only thing I'm noticing is on the back where we get this new matte finish, which I love, to be honest. Um, personally, I will go always for a matte finish on a phone. I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, the new camera system, which is a uh, ultra wide, a wide angle and a telephoto. So I'm actually pretty excited to try the ultra wide angle. And uh, yes, yeah, something else I noticed instead is the face ID got way faster. And I think that's the result of the new chip inside this new iPhone. This is the A13 Bionic. That's the name Apple gave to it. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.